Welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to talk about some Skaven teams. is our standard Skaven team. As usual, we're going with uh, our minimum of three re-rolls and an apothecary. This time we're going with four, had a little extra cash, but we're going to move in straight into the team. As always, at the top of the list, we got our thrower. Movement seven, he's a fast thrower. Strength three, three agility, seven armor. Pretty solid, uh, aside from that seven armor. That seven armor, is, you're going to notice that a lot with the Skaven team, you're going to lose some players. Yeah, they're pretty squishy, which that uh, that extra reroll is going to help. Yeah, and that apothecary is almost mandatory. Yeah. Next up, we're sitting here. We got our gutter runners, probably the fastest, one of the fastest players in all of Blood Bowl with that movement of nine and very low strength, but... Again, you're not going to try to block with these guys with that four agility. You're trying to get the ball, use dodge to get in and out, and all the way into their end zone. These are these are are so critical to this team. They can pick up the ball and score in one turn. They're they're the meat and potatoes of your team. Speaking of meat and potatoes, let's talk about the storm vermin. All right, this is the closest thing to a real, as I quote, blocker you have on your team. They got block, they have the seven movement speed, which is still crazy fast. Three strength, three agility. They can still pick up the ball, move it, and with eight armor, these may actually survive till the end of the game. Yeah, these are definitely a decent Skaven player. Yeah. These are these are going to be some of your first pickups after your gutter runners. And, and uh, last but not least, your linemen. We've got six of these friend. guys here. You know, seven movement speed, three strength, three agility, seven armor. Like I said, you're going to lose some of these players. They're only fifty thousand, but their 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 base stats are already higher than most other players. Yeah, I mean they can get they can move around with that seven movement speed, so you can just wedge them in places. And with them being only fifty thousand, they're pretty expendable. Yeah, opposed to some of you know, like your thrower or your your gutter runners up there, which are getting pretty expensive. Okay, now we're going to talk about a agile team for the Skaven, and I think they do very well with this. Yeah, this is probably you know, the 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 better side of the coin here. This is what this team was designed to do. The only uh, like one of the top things you could do with this team is have four gunner runners. They're going to be so fast and be able to move that ball so well. There's not going to be very much that other players can do. If you can get extra long legs and leap on them, make them do some crazy stuff. And uh, followed by that, we got uh, our two throwers, which, you know, get the ball out there to your, your gutter runners and make some plays happen. Now, we do have a lot of linemen on this team, which you're eventually going to swap out once you have the money for some uh, Storm Vermin, maybe even a Red Ogre. But for a starter team, like, the, this is a team that's going to be making the plays. They're going to be able to move the ball, they're going to be able to pick the, the ball, and they're going to be able to protect the ball. Yeah, you're not going to want to go one-on-one -on -one with an orc or, you know, something like that. This is not orc, a bashy orc. team. You, you you spread the field. You get your thrower to throw it to one of your gutter runners or pick up, dump off. If you get dump off on your throwers, this is a perfect uh, ability to have when you have gutter runners. Because yeah. with that nine mm -hmm. movement, I mean, they just, you know, that's half the field in one go. And once you get block on these gutter runners, that's going to negate another dice roll, just like dodge negates a dice roll. And when you, then, then you can start moving into, like, sidestep or sure hands or sure feet and really start getting these guys moving. Also, another thing that me and Jay kind of do a lot is if we're running gutter runners or some of the smaller units, we'll have one or two of the players with strip ball because now you have somebody that's nine movement speed that can get in hole somewhere because their agility allows them to dodge and the yeah, and ability you can, you dodge. Throw, you can throw, uh, throw out those negative dice rolls and let you, you know, nine times of ten they're going to pick the push over over the tackle and they're going to get the ball stripped from them. Next team we're going to talk about is, and I'm using hard air quotes here, Skaven Bashy team. Yeah, about as bashy as a Skaven team can get. I mean, they get a few good things, but start at the top of the list like we always do. 
the most prevalent player for e- each one of these teams, and we got our uh, Rat Ogre. The Rat big Ogre. cheese. Yep. Six, six movement speed, five strength, two agility. He may even still be able to pick up the ball occasionally. Eight armor, though. For a big guy, eight armor is uh, always pretty bad. He's got Frenzy, so he can uh, throw a block and keep running with it. Mighty Blow, always uh, a game ender for most players. Loner, uh, terrible. One of, the, one of the most hated things in Blood Bowl. Uh, he's got a 50% chance to get his re-roll, and that's that's about it. Followed up by this prehensile tile, which is awesome for dealing with the, your, against more uh, agile teams that are going to be dodging in and out, moving through the tackle zones. And Wild Animal. Uh, wild Animal is another one of those big guy abilities that's always terrible to have. Yeah, so, I mean, overall, you got two kind of negative skills, but I think it's made up with Mighty Blow, Frenzy, and the Tail, because uh, that's it, definitely going to stop some of those smaller guys from getting around him. And the good thing about him, to touch on, the fact that he has access to mutations, you can get him claws, extra arms, and fun stuff like that, and really turn this into a, a, a team killer. Once you get block and dodge and claws, you're really going to be murdering other players. Which, I mean, is the goal of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people, especially with a Basher team. Again, we come back to our Storm Vermin. Storm Vermin, 7 movement, 3, 3, 8. Uh, got block and really not much else to say about it. But again, they have access to mutations. And uh, they their main uh, uh, abilities are they can pull from the, the strength uh, tree. So they can get uh, their mighty blows and stuff like that. And turn these into real team killers too. it off with some linemen yeah these linemen here are basically just fillers like there's there's not a real good ba- good bashy team without a lot of linemen uh, these linemen are pretty bad to start with but they're inexpensive and that gives us enough money to get a fan factor of four and apothecary and team reroll and kind of a mid-range team that's going to be earning us a lot of money and we can still put some pain down on the enemies yeah, I mean, if you protect these three characters or players that are kind of, you know, the focal point of this team, the linemen, you can switch in and out as they get hurt. But with that fan yeah. factor, you'll be able to, you know, get more players or build up your stats here on the left uh, through yeah. playing the, through a couple the games. The early game money really helps, you know, to even pick up extra re-rolls, maybe your cheerleaders, assistant coaches, whatever you want to do. But this is a pretty solid team. Um, again, I love the Rat Ogre. Uh, it's always uh, challenging to find a good team for him because, uh, well, he's, he's a big guy, and big guys all suffer the same thing, whether it be Wild Animal, Really Stupid, you know, all those negative abilities followed up by Loner, which is always terrible. All right, so last but not least, your favorite and ours, the Snowball Team. All right, as most snowball teams go, they usually run a lot of linemen just because they're inexpensive and, uh, you know, take it, taking a little bit of a page out of uh, a suggestion we got previously. We're going to be picking up a thrower for this team. And, uh, you know, a little extra expended uh, money in the early game is fine because this still allows us four team rerolls, one apothecary, and our big, big nine fan factor for a starting team. means you're going to earn money. You're going to be able to buy the specialty players. But something to take away from this team here is we got a thrower, we got somebody who can pick up the ball and move it, and everyone else on the team has movement seven, strength three, agility three. They're going to be doing stuff. They're going to be getting the ball. They're going to be running it. Uh, fortunately, everyone on this team, as you can see, has armor value of seven. So expect to lose players. Protect that thrower. Yeah, you're definitely going to protect the thrower. I mean, he's going to be the all-star of this team. But the, nothing says that you can't get a lineman and cage all these other people around them and run it in. Yeah, with, with three agility you're, and, and seven movement speed, uh, there's a few teams that's going to be able to keep up with you. I mean, you got, I think you got war dancers and a few other, you know, units that are going to be able to outrun you, but they're few and far between. So that's all of our Skaven teams. If you have any team that you build or any way that you play Skaven, go ahead and let us know in the comments below.